All right, guys, <clears throat> give everybody a chance to get on here real quick. Um, this is going to be a pretty cool segment. Um, again, uh, just wait just a second, give everybody a chance to get on here. Thank you guys for joining me this afternoon. Um, it is Tuesday, approximately 12.35 p.m. Eastern. It's April 26th. We are still in Passover. Good afternoon. Uh, again, I'm, if you're just joining me, I'm Ricky Scaparro, the founder of The Voice and the pastor of End Time Headlines. Uh, good, good afternoon. Hello, Marty. Thank you. Thank you, uh, all of you guys for joining me, uh, here this afternoon. It's probably around lunchtime, uh, with different individuals, uh, depending on where your location is. Guys, I, listen to this. This is incredible. I love this. Um, we posted this this morning. I want to talk about, uh, an article that I posted this morning, uh, and I believe this was one of the most exciting articles I've done in a while, and I think this is really cool. I think a lot of you will appreciate this, uh, so I want to talk about this for a second. Uh, and here's the headline of this is, Flash of Light Marks Incredible Moment Life Begins with Sperm Meeting the Egg. Uh, this was, uh, the original article came from The Telegraph. Uh, and again, uh, let me just read this text here, and we're going to get into this thing in just a second again. It says, uh, basically, scientists have now shown and discovered for the first time after capturing the astonishing event on film that human life begins in bright flash of light as a sperm meets an egg. Okay, so again... Um, Human life begins in bright flash of life as sperm meets an egg. Okay, again, uh, this again was you can find this main article at endtimeheadlines.org, endtimeheadlines.com. Uh, again, that's the link. You can find that that story there. It's the original article. Uh, uh, the original article comes from the Telegraph. Now I want to read this. Uh, the scientists have seen the phenomenon occur in other animals. But it's the first time it has ever been shown to happen in human. Okay, so uh, this is extremely interesting because this answers the, the question of where does life begin? Okay, now let me give you some scriptures on this. This is interesting. First, uh, this is John chapter 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Okay, so we're gonna we're just gonna weed out all the trolls and the haters and the people that are coming on here just uh, to cause problems. So again, I don't understand why people insist on coming on here because you're just gonna get blocked and removed from the station or the channel, whatever. So we'll just let's let your let your voice be heard so we can just move you on. Uh, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. Now watch this. In him was life. Okay, here's life. And the life was the light of men. Now don't you think that's interesting that he talks about life and light? The life was the light of men. Now verse 5 says, and the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. There was a man sent from God, this is speaking of Yeshua, or Jesus, who's, or I'm sorry, there was a man sent from God whose name was John. The same came for a witness to bear witness of the light. Again, the light was Yeshua, Jesus, that all men through him might believe. He was not that light, speaking of John, but was sent to bear witness of that light. And that was the true light, which, watch it, this is, this is awesome, ready? That, that was the true light which lights every man that comes into the world. So, Yeshua is the true light, and he lights who? Every man. That means you, that means me, that means you people that say there's no God, and you blaspheme God. You, whether you like it or not, you came from God, created by God, and from the true light, you were spoken into existence. You were created into existence. Let me give you some more scripture on this. 
Psalms chapter 139, verses 13 through 16. Again, this is the New Living Translation. I know that's going to shake up all the King James Version only people, but it's okay. We'll just move on. So we're going to meet, we're going to make the atheists mad and we're going to make the religious people mad. So either way, somebody's going to get mad in this segment. Okay, New Living Translation, Psalms chapter 139, verses 13 through 16. Listen what it says. I love this. You made all the delicate inner parts of my body. Who? God. And knit me together in my mother's womb. Thank you for making me so wonderfully complex. Your workmanship is marvelous. How well I know it. You watched me as I was being formed in utter seclusion or in darkness. As I was woven together in the dark of the womb. You saw me. Before I was born, every day of my life was recorded in your book and every moment was laid out before a single day had passed. Okay, that was Psalms chapter 139, 13 through 16, New Living Translation. Here's Psalms chapter 22, verses 9 through 11, New Living Translation. Yet you brought me safely from my mother's womb and led me to trust you at my mother's breast, I was thrust into your arms at my birth. You have been my God from the moment I was born. Incredible, okay? Isaiah chapter 44, verse 2, also a New Living Translation. The Lord who made you and helps you says, Do not be afraid, O Jacob, my servant, O dear Israel, my chosen one. So the Lord who made you. Who? The Lord. Okay, Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 5, and I knew you before I formed you in your mother's womb. Before you were even born, I set you apart and appointed you as my prophet to the nations. Okay, so again, incredible as it is, scientists have now recorded the moment that the egg meets the sperm, they captured on film a burst of light. Now, what is that light? I believe that is God Almighty. When he steps in, he takes the sperm of man, he takes the egg of woman, and he comes in and he breathes. He breathes the breath of life into it. And it, there's the spark. Why? Because he is the light of the world and that light was in him. And let me go back up to this. And which lights every man that comes in to the world. Okay. Now listen to this. I love this. It said, uh, verse 3, again, it says, All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. This is incredible. So scientists are now, cap are, are now catching up with the word of Almighty God. Okay. Quote. Here's, I'm going to give you another uh, quote from this. It was remarkable, said Professor Teresa Woodruff, one of the study's two senior authors and expert in ovarian biology at Northwestern. Quote, we discovered the zinc spark is what they call it just five years ago in the mouse. And to see the zinc radiate out and a burst from each human egg was breathtaking. Okay, quote. This means if you can look at the zinc spark at the time of fertilization, you will know immediately which eggs are the good ones to transfer into vitro fertilization. Now, again, now I know this question is going to come up, so we're going to go ahead and talk about this for a second before we get off here. Uh, so here's, here's the question that's going to come up. What happens to children uh, that, are either that 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 suffer miscarriage or they die in the womb or they suddenly die after delivery guys i'm telling you uh i know some people out there teach uh that children under the age of accountability uh will go to hell there is absolutely no scripture to back that up in fact the story of david uh, when he committed adultery with Bathsheba, he he immediately fasted because judgment hit his house uh and when his child died, he, he, he broke his fast, and listen to David's statement. He says, I know that where he is, I cannot bring him to me. 
after he died. I cannot bring him back to me, but that I can be where he is. In other words, David understood something that I want you to understand today. And that is, if you're listening to me today by Periscope or by YouTube, and perhaps you're a woman, perhaps you're a man, uh, and you you had a family, uh, you're, you're married, and you had a child that was uh, suffered a miscarriage, or whatever the case may be. Perhaps you're listening, you had an abortion, and, and you've pleaded for forgiveness, and God has forgiven you, but you've lived with this grief, you've lived with this sorrow, you've lived with condemnation for years and years. I'm telling you, uh, by, the, the, authentic, by the, the authority of the Word of God, that your child is resting the, in the arms of Jesus uh, your child is in heaven. Um, uh, they're in they're in paradise with God, and they are waiting not to come back down so per se, but for you to be reunited with them. And then I believe we will all come back down to the new heaven and the new earth, and that gets into a whole other teaching in itself. But my friends, listen, this is incredible. Uh, uh, yes, that's right. There is an age of accountability. Now, the Jews teach 12 years of age. I believe that every child develops different. So, therefore, the age of accountability, only God knows. Because, it, listen, there's people that are mentally challenged in children, for example, that no man can judge their mental capacity. They don't know what they're they are able to comprehend and understand. So, I believe the age of accountability uh, really... Um, if you want to be conservative about it, it's got to be somewhere between the age of 11 and 13 years of age. Only God knows the heart. But nevertheless, if you're talking about one years old, two years old, three years old, all the way up to 10 years old, guys, listen, they are not mature in their, in their, in their, their development of their brains, of their conscience, of their moral decisions. I do not believe that God is in the business of sending children to hell because they cannot fully comprehend moral decisions like you and I as adults. So I want I believe that'll give peace to some people today. But here is the biggest part of this that's absolutely incredible. Uh, so for all the people, uh, whether, for the abortionists, the Planned Parenthood, for the people that say that life does not uh, begin until after birth, until after the child is conceived, I've just we've destroyed uh, this. This destroys every uh, comprehensible argument towards that. I've just given you scripture to back up where life begins. And I'm now scientists are saying that when the when the sperm meets the egg, there's the light. The light is the life of men, which is Yeshua. But that light, again, in verse 9, that light uh, which came from Yeshua is in every man that comes into the world. It's um, uh, Remember in the book of Genesis, it says that God breathed the breath of life into men. Life. He breathes that into us and we became a living being with a soul and a spirit. First Thessalonians, I believe it's first Thessalonians five. It says that you are body, soul and spirit. When we die, our flesh goes back to the dirt and uh, and 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 our soul and our spirit, they go into the maker and to the life and to the to uh, uh, to to God who gave it. So. Again, I hope this makes sense to you guys. I hope you enjoy this. Share this with some people that I believe will be encouraged by this. Again, um, you can find this article, guys, at endtimeheadlines.org, endtimeheadlines.com. Um, and you can find the whole article at The Telegraph. Again, the headline is Bright Flash of Light Marks Incredible Moment Life Begins When Sperm Meets the Egg. Uh, so I believe... Uh, this is something that is incredible, and it just shows you that scientists eventually catches up with the Word and the Word, and, and scientists are now confirming what the Word of God has always told us. Again, if you enjoy these segments, please subscribe to us at endtimeheadlines.org, endtimeheadlines.com. Again, I'm the founder and the pastor and the voice of End Time Headlines, Ricky Scaparo. Thank you uh, for joining me for this segment. Again, you can share this on uh, on Periscope as well. A swipe to the right on an iOS device, on an Android, you can swipe up. And also, uh, these will be uh, on YouTube as well. So, love you guys. God bless you. We'll see you soon.